Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have x to the power of 4 minus 16 to be equal to 0. Okay, for us to solve this, I want us to break this down. So we have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus here we have um, 16, right? Now, 16 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. And this will give us 0 here. The next thing is that we should apply difference of 2 squares. So that if we are going to do that, remember if you have a squared minus b squared, this will give a plus b into a minus b. And this is the same difference of two squares that we have now. So I'm going to have x squared plus 4 in one bracket. And in the other bracket, I'm, I'm going to have x squared minus 4. And the whole of this will be equal to 0, right? Okay. Now, I would like us to apply difference of two squares now as in apply zero product rule rather so if we do that we'll have x squared plus four to be equal to zero okay i'll come back to pick what we have in the second bracket but from here um it looks impossible for us to solve this but then let's see what we're going to do this means x squared is equal to minus four right okay and then what if I take the square root of both sides? Okay, then I have positive or negative over here. Square root and square will cancel. Now I'm going to have um, x to be equal to positive or negative square root of negative 4. But finding square root of negative 4 will lead us to complex number. Right? This is the same thing as x equal to positive or negative square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. What I'm trying to do is to pick out this negative from here. So that if you continue, x will be equal to positive or negative. Square root of 4 is now 2. Then square root of negative 1 will give you what we call i. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that x is equal to 2i or negative 2i because of this plus or minus now let's go back to what we have in the second bracket and it is x squared minus 4 which will be equal to 0 if i equate it to 0 so x squared minus 4 is equal to 0 now from here we are also expected to have two values because i can still apply difference of two squares this is x squared minus 2 squared, minus 2 squared, which will be equal to 0. Because 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, right? Now, apply the same difference of 2 squares. Okay, if you have a squared minus b squared, that will be equal to a plus b into a minus b. And then, if I apply the same, I'm going to have x plus b um, x plus 2 into x minus 2 and this will be equal to 0 then if i continue i will apply zero product rule meaning that either of them should be equated to 0 so x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay and then x is equal to 0 minus 2 from here. Or on this side, x will be equal to 0 plus 2. Now x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 2. Now let's bring all the solutions together now. Now I'm going to call this x1, x2. So our x1 now is minus 2. Our x2 is plus 2 
then our x3 is from what we got before okay so let's call this our x3 to i okay so our x3 is to i and then our x4 will be negative 2i so these are the four solutions to the given equation remember if you solve a problem that has the power of 4 therefore it means there should be four different solutions okay that is if you are to get all the solutions both the real and the unreal thank you for watching